हरि ओम तत्सत वेलकम टू स्वामी ज्योतिर्मयानंद सोसाइटी आर जर्नी टू सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब फॉर द मिस्टिकल मीनिंग्स एंड टू एंजॉय डेली सत्संग वी आर करेंटली एक्सप्लोरिंग श्रीमद भगवद गीता कॉमेंट्रीज बाय स्वामी ज्योतिर्मयानंद जी महाराज नरेटेड बाय माई सेल्फ स्वामी निखिल आनंदा एंड वी आर करेंटली स्टडिंग चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन विश्व रूप दर्शन योग विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द योगा ऑफ द कॉस्मिक फॉर्म ऑफ गॉड एंड टूडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम श्लोका नंबर फाइव श्री भगवान वाचा पश्य मे पार्थ रूपाणी शतशोवथ सहस्रश नाना विधा दिव्या नाना वर्णाकृती च Lord Krishna said, "O Arjuna, behold my cosmic self manifesting in hundreds and thousands of divine forms of countless colors and shapes." So God is now preparing Arjuna so he can know what to expect. And where God says, "It is like how do you how do you reflect infinity?" how can you contain infinity into of into one form so god is saying behold my cosmic form which manifests in thousands and hundreds of divine forms different aspects of god just like his vibhutis that he was explaining how he is in everything so he is also in every form divine forms and that comes in countless shapes and colors so lord continues पश्यादिवसूनुद्रश्नौ मरुतस्थता बहून्यदृष्टपूर्वा पश्याश्चर्या भारत बिहोल्ड द सन गॉड्स द वसूस द रुद्रस द अश्विनी कुमार एंड द विंड गॉड्स वी होल्ड मेनी मोर वंडर्स दैट यू हैव नेवर सीन बिफोर सो नाउ लॉर्ड इज प्रिपेयरिंग हिम फॉर दैट जर्नी टू से just looking for us for us normal people just looking at the rays of the sun when it is very intense is too much for us we can bear it here lord uh, is showing his um, cosmic form where he is seeing shiva rudra ashwini kumara's wind gods the sun and many more things which uh, um, arjuna had never seen before so lord continues na tu maam shakya se drishtum nai nai va swachakshusha divyam dadami te chakshuhu pashya me yogameshwaram okay so i'm sorry we jumped on one shloka first i have to do shloka number 7 Uh, i had just chanted shloka number 8 which we will do again after i complete shloka number 7 so here he is saying you have never seen those forms so god continues ehai kastham jagat krishnam pashyadya sacharacharam mam dehe guda kesha yachan yad drushtum ichhasi o conqueror of sleep meaning guda kesha o arjuna here and now behold the entire creation consisting of all that moves and that which is immovable centered in my cosmic body and whatever else you desire to see how gracious of god where he is giving himself completely with his uh, to his disciple arjuna arjuna being a sincere aspirant and lord krishna being the guru the teacher the jagat guru that's why we say krishnam vande jagat guru he is the guru of all the gurus moving on to uh, the next shloka na tu maam shakya se drishtum nai nai va swachakshusa divyam dadami te chakshuhu pashyam me yogam aishwaram but 
Lord says, you cannot behold my divine form with your physical eyes. See, it's very important. These physical eyes are known as charma chakshu, made of skin. So these are very, very limited and we cannot behold God with these eyes, the actual form of God. So God says, he's warning Arjuna that this is not enough. Therefore, I bestow upon you intuitional vision, which is divine sight. And that divine sight, serious aspirants also get and that is that state we call of enlightenment self-realization mukti but we have to prepare ourselves for it work for it make it strong otherwise when in a hundred watt bulb you put in thousand watts of energy it will explode so therefore we have to do tapasya penance selfless service purification cleansing of the impurities then we are ready to receive that energy and when that is given then we are absorbing it otherwise it will be too much for us to handle so therefore god wants us to purify which is uh, 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 the most of the time that is where our sadhana is and in this case lord is guiding arjuna arjuna already is very close to god he already has done a lot of good things so god is saying this form is not even available to highly evolved sages and saints but oh arjuna i'm showing it to you due to my compassion so you hold it but physical eyes are not adequate. Therefore, I bestow upon you pragya, intuitional vision by which you will be able to behold my divine glory and cosmic powers, my supreme yoga. Sanjayovacha, Sanjay says, Eva Mukva Tato Rajan Mahayogeshwaro Harihi Darsha Yamasa Parthaya Paramam Rupa Maishwaram. Sanjay said to King Dhritarashtra, O King, thus saying, the great Lord of Yoga, Sri Hari, revealed his cosmic form to Arjuna. Now remember, Sanjay is far away from the battlefield, and but he is also been blessed by um, Vyasa, Sage Vyasa, where he has been given that divine vision where he can see the, the war and also the thoughts. So Sanjay is also enjoying this beautiful vision of Lord Krishna along with Arjuna. So uh, this is where Sanjay is saying to the king that, oh my God, oh king, I'm seeing this glorious form Lord is revealing to Arjuna. Now um, he says, this is all Sanjay. Sanjay is explaining all this because he is so overwhelmed with the cosmic form. Because remember, God is now showing that form. He is in a different state of mind. Aneka Vaktra Nayanam Aneka Dadbhuta Darshanam Aneka Divya Bharanam Divya Aneko Yudham with numerous faces and eyes, with multifarious, wondrous scenes, dazzling with divine ornaments, with divine weapons appraised. So that's what he is seeing right now. Arjuna is seeing it and Sanjaya is seeing it. Next shloka. Divya Malyam Bharadharam Divya Gandhanu Lepanam Sarvascharyamayam devam anantam vishvato mukham. Resplendent with divine garlands and divine apparel, anointed with celestial perfumes, full of wonders, shining effulgent, infinite, with innumerable faces on all sides, such is the form he revealed. So, beautiful form he is arjuna is seeing and sanjay is seeing of divine glories divine garlands divine ornaments divine perfumes wondrous infinite and with 
numerous faces everywhere. Devi Surya Sahasrasya Bhave Dyuga Padutthitha Yadi Bhaha Sadrishi Sa Syad Bhasastasya Mahatmanaha If there were to shine forth simultaneously a thousand suns in the sky, even that effulgence could not compare with the splendor of that mighty being. See, even with one sun, we cannot handle the heat and the, and the radiance and the light. Imagine a thousand suns shining all at the same time. What does that mean? Is that it is infinity. It is hard to explain that feeling of radiance. Tatrai kastham jagat krishnam pravi bhaktam nekadha Apashyadde Vedvasya Sharire Pandavasthada They are resting within the infinite form of the God of Gods. Arjuna beheld the entire universe with all its diversified manifestations. Imagine how Arjuna must have felt at that point where he is seeing the infinite forms of God and he is beholding the entire universe right in front of his eyes in diverse aspects. Another incident is when Krishna was a very young baby, he was eating mud <laughs> on the banks of uh, uh, Mathura or Vrindavan. Um, Gokul, sorry, when he was a baby, he was in Gokul. Then when he grew up a little bit, six, seven years, I think, then they went to Vrindavan, which is close by, like 20 some kilometers outside of uh, Gokul. So one day his mother was washing clothes near by the river and uh, he, or filling water, and he was um, eating that mud. So um, by the banks. So the mother kind of got annoyed. She came to him and she says, What are you doing? Why are you eating mud? He says, No, no, I have not eaten mud. She says, Open your mouth. And he opens his mouth. And as soon as she sees that mouth, she is mesmerized. She sees the cosmic form and she sees all the planets, all the stars, the divine form, all these planets rotating inside the mouth of the tongue when she op when God opens his mouth. So God had shown his Leela, even though he was acting like a six month old baby, in reality he was God in that form. And uh, the mother, Yashoda, just lost consciousness. She thought she was out of her mind or that experience was so mind blowing. It is in the Bhagavatam. Those of you who are interested can find it there. But um, this is to show that sometimes when God does his grace and glories, then he shows his cosmic form in different ways. So that had also happened uh, while he was a baby. But here he is not a baby. He is uh, 79 years old uh, and um, almost that, uh, at the time of the Mahabharata war. Lord Krishna lived to be about 126 years. So here... Um, he is showing his cosmic form like that to Arjuna. Tatahasa vismaya vishto rishtaro madhananjayaha pranamya shira sadevam kritanjalira bhashata. Then Arjuna, filled with wonder, with his hair standing on the end, bowing his head before the Lord, spoke with folded hands. So all this while Arjuna was awestruck, like watching an amazing magic show in front of his eyes. And then he will speak, which we will discuss in tomorrow satsang. It will be Arjuna Vacha. So we will see Arjun's um, comments further. This is Swami Nikhilananda. Hari Om Tat Sat. I will see you in tomorrow's Satsang.